this video we're going to explore a few new features in the retopple room of 3D Coat. The first one is the ability to auto select sub objects of your mesh such as vertices, edges and faces. You can also assign hotkeys to these now. You uh, can select a sub object, double click now and it will select connected much like you have in Lightwave. Okay, you can hit the escape key to drop the selection. You could also click Control D and it will do the same thing. So I'll go ahead and select an edge and you can see it quickly switches me to edges mode. Go back to faces mode and now you see some new tools open up to you and that is the ability to extrude along normals or free extrude. In this case we'll choose free extrude. I'll check to local space in the tool options panel and you can see it, it will extrude just as it would in Maya and you can also extrude along any axis right, in a free space if you need in this case uh, that's we're not really interested in that uh, it would be good though for working with maybe like a mouth cavity or eye cavity something like that where you need to actually move it in 3D space after you've uh, created new geometry. Okay, so now let's select an edge and now edge loop that. We'll hit the transform button here and if I hover over and hit the space bar I still just get the tool panel that pops up. If I click and now hit the space bar all of a sudden I get a numeric control. So if I need very precise movements I can use this. Let's say 50%. Oops. Okay, that's not what I want, but nevertheless you get the idea. The same thing applies to any of these widgets, if you will, of the gizmo any of these portions such as the rotation handle the transform or move handle scale any of these okay so again click and spacebar I'll hit the escape key to drop that and you can see the same thing is applicable when using split rings if I want it to be very precise uh, for example, if I want to be 25% on every bevel that I try to create, this time I don't have to click. I can just simply hit the space bar and it will give me a numeric input. So I hit 0.5. You can see it did it exactly in the middle. Okay, so that should conclude this look at the new tools in the Retopple Room in 3D Coat. Thank you for watching.